to a special holiday episode of Cooking Together Generations. Today we're going to show you how to make some fun uh, appetizers and sides for your um, holiday gatherings as well as a little special drink that I've thrown together. Um, it is a little boozy, so <laughs> maybe eat dinner first. Uh, There's nothing wrong with boozy Christmas. <laughs> and if you don't remember who we are, I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Brock, and this is my grandpa, Tom. This is his kitchen, uh, so he's in charge, I think. <laughs> kind of. Better Let's believe see. it. So uh, I think we're gonna start with some crackers. Yeah, yeah, I got the, I, I got something really fun and easy to do. Taking regular, the regular old nasty, well, not nasty, not necessarily. Saltines have their place, but you know, they're just kind of saltines. So I'm gonna show you how to jazz up a package of saltine crackers and make some special crackers. So what I've done is, is I've melted about, oh, half a stick of unsalted butter. Okay, because the crackers already have salt on them. And then what I've done is, is I've kind of basted each cracker with a little bit of butter, okay, on top. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make my own flavored crackers. You always see the specialty crackers in the stores, and they always cost a bunch. Well, for the cost of a sleeve of saltines, I'm going to take that butter, and I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan on top of those. Okay. And you can be liberal with it. I've got a little non-stick baking pad here, so it makes for easy cleanup. Oh, you really got some way to go! Oh, geez. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and hit those other top ones a little bit because those are a little shy. I mean, you know, if you're gonna do it, do it upright, right? Make them flavorful. I think our slogan has always been more cheese. More cheese. More cheese. More That's cheese. Right. Exactly. More cheese. Exactly. More cheese. So we get a little bit of cheese on top. Oh, that one doesn't look like it's got much on it at all. There we go. And then, outside of just having some Parmesan on there, I thought I'd put a little uh, fresh rosemary. So you just kind of not go. fresh. What? Well, not fresh. Dried rosemary. Dried <laughs> rosemary. Okay. Yes. Yeah, not fresh out of our garden. But but anyway, little rosemary on top of those. And then we get get a little bit. Just keep. Rubbing it between your fingers there, like that. Get a little on each one. Like that. And then, oops, I see one up there that needs a little more. There we go. And then I'm going to do these la one of these last rows. I'm going to add just a little red, red pepper. Oh. Whoa. Spicy crackers? Spicy crackers, yeah. I'm going to do about half of them spicy and half of them not. And then what you do is you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You take your crackers. You slide them in the oven for about, oh, six to eight minutes. And when they come out, you're going to have delicious homemade snack crackers. And then you're going to adjust this towel that's driving me crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize the stylist didn't. I <laughs> no, bumped the... Our stylist didn't make it in today. Yeah, our stylist didn't make it in today. She's not feeling well. So and well, there no, you have it. Yeah. Great so over to, uh, next to cheese and oh, all yeah. kinds of over to Tom for the salad. Okay, folks. A couple weeks ago, we did a pickled episode. We pickled strawberries. So everybody's calling me and seeing me saying, "What do you do with those pickled strawberries?" Aha! I am going to show you. I'll say a delightful holiday salad. Salad. Solid salad. <laughs> uh, I've got some mixed winter greens here, and I'm going to, oops, I'll take the top off there. I'm going to shave a little onion for on there, okay? You use one of my gadgets, I should, like, right? Yeah, that's yeah. one of Brock's gadgets. Oops. So we're going to throw a little shredded onion on there. And now, we'll just take, uh, and we'll get some of our strawberries out of our pickling jar here. Now these been, some of them, I, Put some extra ones in there so some of them been pickling for a long time some of them a short time i'm just going to take some of those strawberries and put them on this salad maybe one more one more there okay and then for your salad dressing just take some of that pickling juice oh i was gonna say i was like where's the dressing there is the dressing okay like that and then we'll Oh, somebody stole my thing here. So we'll take a little. This is Asiago cheese. Now you could use Parmesan, but Asiago's got a little. Parmesan? Nah, well, Asiago, get it. 
Okay. And then, where are they? Oh, here. Now this is fresh greens from the Goshen Farmer's Market. And this has some, this is my favorite thing to use on anything is bean sprouts. Mm. And this is the spicy, Those are pretty. spicy bean sprouts. And then if we really want to finish it off, we're going to do a little strawberry here, okay? So we're just going to slice him a few ways through, like this, so. And we'll just spread him out a little bit, and we'll pop him on the top. Whoop! He won't Whoa. stay there! Whoa! Whoa! Fell down the mountain. So fresh strawberries and the pickled strawberries. And the pickled strawberry, and there's your Christmas salad. And he never fumbles. <laughs> <laughs> he never fumbles. <laughs> so there it is. So easy. But if you not need the pickling recipe, it's go back into go on our videos, go to cookingtogether.com and you'll find them. We probably should have looked up what the episode number was before this, but Oh it's 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 right on the uh, current, current video pages. Yeah. This is what you've come to expect from us, so we don't know what's going on. We're just here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, well we're gonna take a break and then I'm gonna prepare uh, start preparing my ingredients for my uh, holiday drink. Bye bye! All right, welcome back. We're gonna make a little holiday cocktail. So you've got the crackers to start out with your appetizers. You've got your side salad to go with your dinner. And now you need an after dinner drink. So we are gonna start with a glass of wine glass full of ice here and do a half an ounce. Ooh, that was a little too much. A little over an ounce. <laughs> half an a little ounce. too much. Three quarter of an ounce. Uh, of triple sec or an orange liqueur and then the next thing we're going to use is our one of our favorite liqueurs it's called hum um, and it is a hibiscus ginger it's got cardamom sugar cane it's very sweet um so we're going to do an ounce of it which is going to feel like a lot so if you're not a sweet drinker just add a little more dry champagne but we'll get to that so an ounce of the hum and you can find this <laughs> The show. <laughs> all right, so I got that in there. They're here all night, y'all. <laughs> the deal. Oh, wow. All right, and so I got that mixed together in here, and then we're just gonna top that off with some extra dry champagne. We already took the lid off. Sorry, no fun popping the champagne. Just top that off. Try not to overflow my glass here. And you can find the hum in your liqueur aisle at your liquor store. Um, if you go to some of your bigger liquor stores, they probably will have it. Top that off a little bit. And then I am going to... Uh, now you stole my thing. What thing? My grater. Oh my goodness. How about right here? the sink and everything. Nobody will be drinking this one. <laughs> well, oh, we yeah. might. <laughs> well, that's clean. I just washed it. <laughs> so we're going to just grate a little bit of orange zest on top of this and then garnish with a little orange. And there you have it. A little Christmas drink. And it's got all those nice flavors of the cardamom and the orange. It's very, very Christmassy. Oh, okay. Um. There we go. Camera in hand coming in stealing my drink. I guess I have to drink the sink, uh... Sink drink? <laughs> the sink drink. Sure do. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to put it over there with the crackers on the salad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it! <laughs> Ta-da! Make sure not to serve it to your guests after drinking out of it. Uh, or do, whatever. But yeah, I mean, you, you got to taste every drink to make sure that they're good. Right? And there you have it, folks. That's our little Christmas uh, sides. Pretty darn simple. Yeah, really, yeah. really easy. We are simple people. Can't hit, but we can't uh, tell you how to do the rest of the meal. I mean, we could, but we well, don't could. have time. Well, for we that. did. We've but, done that before. <laughs> but here, you, if you're looking for something easy to bring to your holiday party, we've got you covered. 
And of course, we've been eating the crackers. The crackers are great. That's a cheap way to do it, folks. I'm yeah, telling you, really I spend really I spend more money on the holidays on snack crackers at the store. I'm doing a whole bunch of these. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. Yep. Okay. You can do them yourself, and no one will ever know they weren't uh, store bought. True. Oh, well, they might think they're saltines, but <laughs> maybe they'll maybe. be impressed. They'll, they'll be, be impressed. impressed. Yes, <laughs> they will be impressed. So that's it, folks. Uh, make sure to follow us online on uh, Cooking Together Generations on Facebook. Um, we also have a website up, cookingtogether.com. Yep. Um, and you can find all of our merch in the cookbook there. And yep. check out my website. Yeah. ThomasLRose.com. And you can get my book. Well, shameless plug for his other yeah. side did. <laughs> yeah. so. It has nothing to do with cooking. Well, a little bit, but not a little bit. I think it does. <laughs> all right. Cheers, friends. Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Holidays. Merry Holidays. Don't do anything we wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>